Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get stable FPS, improve and boost your frame rate, fix lags and stutter in a GTA 5 enhanced on a low end PC or a laptop. So, I hope this guy helps you out. And without wasting any more time, let's get started with the intro. one is the best windows settings and for that simply search for settings on your pc and right over here go down to gaming head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off game bar is an overlay service which keeps on running an overlay on your pc which is really resource consuming and you do not want that simply turn this thing off to improve your performance right away after that go back to gaming head over to game mode and right over here you're gonna have to turn this thing on game mode turned on will optimize your pc by turning things and applications off in the background helping you to boost your frame rates right after that go beneath the graphics settings and then right over here you'll find optimizations for windowed games you wanna have to turn this thing on to reduce your input latency after that you have to click on add a desktop app over here and then go to the install location of your game once you're in the folder, simply select GTA 5 Enhanced.exe and then click on the Add button over here. Click on it and then for the GPU preference, use High Performance over here. This will ensure that the game utilizes your graphic card rather than your software based graphics. This will ensure that your PC utilizes your graphic card to render the game instead of your CPU based graphics. Enable optimizations for windowed games over here and once that is done, simply close your settings. Next step over here is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and press enter. Over here click on custom and then select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. These four settings will help you to optimize your look of your windows and reduce unwanted animations which might be resource consuming once that is done click on apply and close it but before we move ahead i want to introduce you guys to this video sponsor ease us voice wave it's a real-time ai voice changer for gaming online chat streaming and a lot more which you guys can download for free from the link in the description below once you open up this application it has a very simple interface with a ton of voices sound effects and a lot of other cool features the best part about this software is the ai feature where you guys can simply switch to any voice i personally like young girl because it sounds perfect and here i have selected the volume and the pitch to make it sound more filtered and accurate here is how i sound like as a young girl once again i use this quite a lot while gaming or pranking my friends and it works perfectly you guys can simply select your microphone and your headphone and then you can enable ai smooth mode if you want your voices to be more smoother you can add key binds and a lot of other cool stuff and they have over 300 voices to choose from including famous celebrities game characters and a lot more i would recommend you guys to go check out easus voice wave for free from the link in the description below. Next step is MS Config, and for that, simply search for MS Config on your PC and open up System Configuration. Right over here, head over to the Boot Settings and then click on Advanced Options. Select Number of Processor and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. Click on OK and then head over to Services. Select Hide All Microsoft Services, and right over here, I would recommend you guys to disable all unwanted services such as Printer Services, Browser Update Services, and once you are disabling all these unnecessary services, click on the Apply button over here click on ok and click on exit without restart next step is disabling background applications on your pc this is a very simple step so you have to simply search for edit group policy and then click on ok once you are here head over to computer configuration administrative templates windows components app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background double click to open this policy up and then click on enable to ensure that this policy is turned on then for the policy you have to set the default for all applications to force deny after that click on apply click on ok and then it will help you to disable all the applications running in the background. This will reduce the load of resources on your PC and it will help you to boost your FPS. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and right over here scroll a bit down until you find your local disk C. Click on create and name it GTA 5 so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the GTA 5 enhanced low end optimization 
optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys can download this pack from there or join my discord server for a direct download link right over here you'll find in five simple folders let us start with the first one that is our cpu priority i have left an amd cpu priority as well as an intel cpu priority file right over here so you have to apply this file according to your processor i have an intel based processor so i need to apply intel cpu priority to apply it you can simply double click on it and then click on the run button over here this will apply the best d word priorities for your processor to improve performance after that the second folder is gt5 enhanced optimization in which i have left above normal and high priority i want you guys to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here third one is ram optimization in which i have left a ton of ram registries and you need to choose according to your pc i have 32 gb ram registry so i need to apply this registry on my pc could be different for you so you can choose among the preset once again if that doesn't work out well or you want to reset them you can use the reset to default to go back fourth one over here is the config settings in which i have left this xml file and to apply that head over to documents on your pc and scroll a bit down until you find rockstar games double click to open it up and then open up gta enhanced folder over here you'll find settings.xml file right over here and for best performance i would recommend you guys to right click and then create a new folder name it backup over here then you want to shift your xml file in the backup folder then copy my xml file over here and then paste it after that you don't want to make any changes because it is the best settings available for your game what you guys have to do is simply close this and then go back last one is the programs folder in which i have left two simple programs which will help you a ton first one is clean temporary files you're gonna have to right click and run it as administrator this will open up a small command prompt on your pc wherein if you press enter it will start deleting all temporary files off of your pc once that is done press enter this is a healthy process and i would recommend you guys to do it every now and then second program over here is the process lasso you wanna have to install it on your pc and then open up process lasso simultaneously i want you guys to come onto your steam and then apply the best launch option settings for that right click on your game head over to its properties and then for the launch option you're gonna have to put in a hyphen and then type in use all available course without any spaces then press a space bar hyphen and then type in high this will set up the correct priority for your game and once that is done simply close this next thing that you want to do is click on the play button over here and now you want to wait until your game screen loads up okay once your game starts you want to have to head over to active processes and then scroll a bit down until you find your game my game is right over here that is gta5enhanced.exe what you guys have to do is select the game and once that is selected right click on it and then click on cpu priority then for current you wanna have to set this thing to high after that head over and then open up the boost settings click on current and then make sure that this is turned on then what you guys have to do is head over to memory priority click on current and then make sure to click on after that for the power profile you wanna have to select highest performance over here and once all of that is done you have to minimize this application and now you guys have to load up your free mode and that should be it once you are in the game you are done with the best in-game settings as well and that will help you to boost your fps let me know if this guide helps you in the comments below and if that did make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button you're really close to 250,000 subscribers and i would definitely appreciate your sub we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out